Hi everyone, so in this video, as you probably guessed by the title, I had a big access issue today. Now, I never usually advocate for myself this much, but um, I couldn't, I, I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I'm going through a lot right now, so I couldn't be bothered to, do, to deal with people's stuff, their people's rubbish spewing out their mouth. So, a um, bit, of, bit of context, I was... Um, I had an appointment today at the dentist, but it's not like a normal dentist, it's, um, because of my arthritis I can't go to a normal dentist, so I have to go to the dentist, like, that's, like, linked onto the hospital. But they're two separate buildings. Two separate buildings. Um, and, bear in mind, I have had my dogs in there two or three times before, I think, two or, yeah, twice, I think, that I've had them in there. Um, and there's been no issue with it, I've never been questioned, I've never been told I can't have them in there. I have never been told that I cannot have them back in there again, and, excuse me, and I have never been told that anything of that sort. When I go in today, everything just blows up proportion, so I will let you watch it, and yeah, whatever. I was going to say have fun, but it's not really fun, an access issue. I've already said they help yeah, me. I don't have to clarify what disabilities I have, but they help oh, me with. They assist me by doing tasks and alerts to keep me safe and to mitigate my disabilities. That's what an assistance dog is. I'm not gonna, I don't understand how they can assist you in the Because if I was to take ill. There are a group of people doing this. Yeah, but immaterial, I'm allowed to have them with me. You're not? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Well, you're not taking them on the clinic today, so you need to change your appointment. No, I'm not doing that. Well, you're not... I've, no, I've had them in there before. They are assistance dogs. They are legally allowed to accompany their handler, which is me, everywhere. So you cannot well, say no. How they you. How they I already you. have. How do, how will they you? I have said they do tasks and alerts. What tasks will they do in the clinic? That doesn't, it doesn't make a difference what tasks they will do in the clinic. They're there in case I need them. Which tasks do you and visitors need them to help you with in the clinic? It doesn't make a difference. They're assistance it dogs. They're allowed to be with me. To How? Because you're not taking the dogs to the clinic. Yes, I am. I am. I've had them in there before. Well, you shouldn't have had them. Well, that's a shame because I'm not missing that my dentist appointment. Set, that I'm not, I'm not, mess, I'm not missing my dentist appointment. Well, you need to find somewhere else to put your dogs. No. I'm not, I'm not, because they keep me safe. There's no, there's no risk for you in this building. What? There's no risk for you in this building. Um, I'm disabled. There is a risk of me full stop. There is no risk that those dogs can have you within this building. Yes, there is! I'm disabled. There is a risk. Every, I have every right to have them with me. And if there is a problem, feel free to phone the police. I'm well, then leave me alone. Then leave me alone. No. No, because they're entitled to be here because they're, they're, wor they're working. They're not working. They're sitting on the floor. They're oh, my God. Are you actually kidding me? Because they're not working right this second. How do you envisage an assistant? Why do you have to keep asking me, lucky, get down? Ah, ah. They, like I said a million times, they do tasks and alerts to help me with my disabilities. I don't have to clarify my disabilities to you. I have told you. I have told you what they do. It doesn't, it doesn't make a difference. Their assistance dogs are allowed to be in here. Right then, can I just ask, if someone with a guide dog came in here, would you tell them the same thing? Exactly. Exactly. That's my point. Well, because it's a guide dog. It doesn't make a difference. A guide dog is a guide dog, an assistance dog is an assistance dog. They're both working dogs, fall under the same category, there's no problem. That's discrimination. Straight up. And I'm not, I'm not afraid to fight for my rights. I'm not afraid at all. I'm not rescheduling my appointment, I'm having my dentist appointment. And that's illegal to refuse access to me for no reason. I've got a reason. No, you don't. Right then, what if I had a, what if I had a Labrador and it was a guide dog? Would you say the same thing? I don't think would be allowed to come in and the Oh yes, it. because <laughs> that's discrimination. Because I'm not blind and I am not deaf and I don't have a guide dog or a hearing dog because that because I have different disabilities that they help me with. You're going to kick me out. I don't know what they help you with. You haven't done I don't have to tell you what they help me with. I don't have to tell you what disabilities I have that they help me with. You pretty much are. You're saying what do they help you with? Pretty much. I am asking what they help you with. That's literally asking me what disabilities I have. Literally is. That is right. So straight up discrimination. It is. It's straight up discrimination. 
don't think it's discrimination. It is discrimination, because I literally just asked you, if someone with a guide dog came in here, would you say no to them? And you said no, you wouldn't, because it's a guide dog. Their assistance dog says no difference. You haven't explained I that. don't have to. Wouldn't, right, if so, so if someone with a guide dog came in, would you make them explain why they have it? Maybe because it would be obvious why Well, I don't have to explain to you why I have these. They're I'm assistance dogs, they are trained, they are working. There is no problem. I've had them in here before, they are legally allowed to be in here. I need to have my appointment. Now please leave me alone to go and have my appointment. They're not, you know what? If they were barking and running around, then I'd understand. They're sat there being good as gold. Well, so there's no problem with guide dogs, but assistance dogs, there is a problem. They're the same thing. <laughs> it's just the same thing. A guide dog is an assistance dog. Well, if a guide dog enables somebody to move into areas where they wouldn't otherwise be able to move into by virtue of being able to see where they're going. Yes, and they help me with different things other than sight and hearing. Because did you know, mind, mind blown, that there's actually different disabilities that dogs can help with? I'm aware of that as well. Then why are you harassing me? Because I'm concerned that you might not hope to take two dogs on the current record. If they were pets, then that would be different. They're working dogs, so they're entitled to be there. How many? Do you know what, actually? I've just remembered I have a law card in my bag. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Read that. It has their tasks on, and that's a law card. I forgot I had them. Good boy. You can keep the law card if you want. So after you've read them, what's the actual problem? I'm still struggling to understand why you feel the dog didn't come there. It lit I literally just handed you a card with their tasks on. And uh, I would suggest that none of those tasks, they would not be of any benefit to you in a clinical area. Well, that doesn't make a difference. I'm still allowed to have them there. What, what beneficial difference would a guide dog do to someone who's in a dentist chair? It would guide them to the chair. Yeah, the so? Yeah, but even so, if a member of staff can can pick up on half the things that my dogs do, then humans would overall, but they don't. I have, li I literally don't even understand why you're trying to kick me out. I'm just concerned that you want to take Concerned dogs. about what? Taking dogs. Are they a health hazard? Yes. How? Yes, they are. How are they a health hazard? Quite people are actually tend for appointments here. Well, can I just make a point? If people, you, you cannot legally deny an assistance dog if someone is allergic or afraid of dogs because it's unlawful. No, listen please. They, it is unlawful. Assistance dogs are allowed to accompany their handler at all times, including in hospitals. Same as guide dogs, they have both the same rights. My dogs are clearly labelled as assistance dogs. They have both have vests on. They're not misbehaving. They're not barking at people. They're not aggressive. And they keep me safe. There is literally, I'm not breaking the law whatsoever, and I would know for a fact if I was because I've rehearsed the laws already. And I did that before I even got assistance dogs. So I'm not, I'm not in the wrong here, you are. So I still don't get the problem. Last time you attended with the dogs, you were told... No, I wasn't. Not to bring them again? No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Not in here, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. So that's a lie. Whoever's told you, that's lying. I was never told to not bring them here. 
I'm legally allowed to bring them, and if that's a problem, then phone the police. Because I, I need to have my appointment. I don't understand the problem. The problem is doing dogs in the front area. Well, then tell that to the next guide dog owner that comes in here. Because that's, that's actually discrimination. I accept that that was entirely discrimination. Yeah, then why, why do you I'm seem not, proud? Okay, so after that guy left, right, um, I was waiting around for like five minutes maybe, and then um, my dentist, a nurse who works with her, who I usually see together with my dentist, and a male dentist who I've seen before, all come out of the surgery, like it's not a surgery room, like the, um, the place where they all do the dentist stuff, the dentistry area, you know what I mean, the clinic, that's what I'm looking for. Um, and like, she comes up, the, she's blind, right? The blonde girl is the nurse. The blonde girl comes out and she, she tries to like, she's still up saying like, I can't have them there. They'll have to like do something else. And I'm like, she's like, well, is no one with you? Like, can like, can they like not put them outside or like have one of like the male dentist, like take them outside. I'm like, no, no, you can't. Like I need them with me at all times. And she she was like getting really confrontational with me set my ptsd off and i started having a full-blown rage at her i literally i got aggressive with her basically which you'll see i'm not gonna spoil it because well i will i'll just say it. i literally she was she was trying to tell me that only own like only program trained dogs are allowed like you could you had to have your dog from a program i'm like excuse me while i just get, whip out a law card <laughs> And she was like, she tried to say that she was allergic to dogs, which is a lie, probably, because one, she's never said that before. Two, she's been there both times that I have had my appointments with them accompanying me and there's never been a problem. Three, Shih Tzu's are hypoallergenic. Even so, like, I literally, I'd already said that it's unlawful and against the law to refuse an assistance dog access just because someone is allergic to or afraid of dogs. Like, everyone should know that by now. Um, and... Yeah, I handed her a law card, tried, and I basically told her that it was immaterial whether she was allergic to dogs or not. She had a hissy fit and walked off, so, yep, I will put that clip in right now. Yeah, but they're not, can I just make a note though, they're not emotional support dogs, can I just mention that? They're assistants, there isn't any. I shouldn't, ha I shouldn't have to show one either. There is people that are really allergic to dogs. Immaterial. Right, well, that's not fair on me. It's not fair on me that I can't have my appointment. Some, some disabled. Somebody, okay, somebody, somebody, somebody could have No one. I should have them. Stephen, take them downstairs. No, I'm right. not having that. I need them with me at all times because it keeps me safe. But we're not going to do anything that's unsafe. Yeah, but immaterial. I need them with me at all times. Why would not be able to see you then? Because of Why? Though that's because that's illegal. Well, it's not. It because is because it's discrimination. You've got, unless you've cut a certificate to prove that you, you can yeah but i don't have to have anything to prove anything they're vested they're trained you've seen them before because there's no did, i haven't know, done anything we wrong did, we didn't know where we stood and seen you but the dogs have seen Sick. you twice but i really don't think it should be on a clinical area well then tell that to the next guide dog owner who comes in because guide dogs no 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 they're not no they're not no they're not them what does it what does this say what the hell does this say i'm sorry i'm getting annoyed now what the hell does this say medical alert medical alert i don't care i'm fed up i'm fed up i'm fed up at this point i'm sick to death of getting access issues for no reason my life is no my life is hard enough without people like this making it bloody harder okay, calm down. no i can't There's calm down i can't help area. it i have ptsd and i can't right okay i can't i can't don't what tell I'm me to calm down because that doesn't help no you can because it's illegal if it was a guide right you know what if this was a big labrador put the two of them together boom they make a big labrador would it be would it be different if it was a guide dog well, yeah, because How? guide dogs are for, for people who are slightly different. And they're for me because I have PTSD, severe anxiety that is all disabling. I'm Listen, disabled. We're, we're making some arrangements. Just well, then, why is this such them. a problem? Why has this not been brought to my attention before I came? Because we didn't know how I was stood the last time. Well, then came that should in. have been figured out if first. You told me the first time you came in that you were bringing dogs in, you just brought them in. Well, because Second I'm legally time. allowed to. But have you got a certificate? I don't. There is no certificate to give you. I shouldn't have to give you proof. But that's what people have that have no, certificates. No, that is show. no, that is program trained dogs that have certificates. Right, so are they program trained? No, dogs? because they so don't have to be. They don't have to be. To do no, they don't. No, they don't. Re rehearse the law. I will give you a law card right now. You know what? I'm going to give you a law card as well because I've had enough. I've literally had enough at this point. Is that what you get? No. 
and he, I had these, I ordered these off someone, they're, they're the actual law from someone, I'm literally shaking right now because this is bloody ridiculous, it really is, and I couldn't care less about what I'm saying right now because it's ridiculous, I need to find a law card, assistance dog law and information card, there you go. And who did you get these off? I ordered them off someone. Equality and human rights? Yes, you need to look that up because this is straight up discrimination. Straight but up. Then you've got to see from I'm sorry, but you need to see it from my immaterial. No. No 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 no, 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 no. It is illegal. It is straight up illegal to refuse it's access to someone. Second, we're to it is something. straight up illegal. Jasmine, you're just trying to sort something out. Yeah? No, I might as well just go home. This is ridiculous. No, just sit down for a second, no. sweetheart. I'm just going to go home at this point. I'm just going to go home at this point. This is ridiculous. I'm on the brink of a panic attack. I'm shaking. you are, sweetheart. You're bringing my bloody PTSD out. Because I hate confrontation. No, I can't. I can't calm down. I literally can't. I physically can't. I'm going to have to sit on the floor now. Come here. Boys, come. Come pressure, good boy. Come pressure. Good boy. But no, 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 no. They're not trained, are they? They're fake assistance dogs. Well, this is just as bad as my bloody college. Good boy. I know. Why do you have problems with the college? Yes. This is bloody ridiculous. My life's hard as it is. I don't need people making my life harder like this. We're just sorting something out, Jasmine. Good boy. Good boy. I know. Do you have a new chair again, Susan? Do you want to come in? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm not okay, but I'll come in because I need to. You got me feeling so much.